Hi friends, Omanim and Omanot. It's your Morala Omanut Eva. So this week and this week's Torah portion um, is when God commands Moses and the Israelites to create a Mishkan. So what is a Mishkan? Well, a Mishkan is a often referred to as a tabernacle, but um, it's a sanctuary. It's a portable temple, basically, before the first temple was ever even created. Remember, the Israelites are still wandering in the desert. And so everything that they make needs to be portable. But they have the Torah, right? They have the Ten Commandments. Um, and so they need a special sacred place to house the Torah and to house God, right? Um, for God to dwell in. All the Israelites participate in contributing something beautiful to the Mishkan. Um, we have special fabrics of beautiful colors. God appoints priests um, for the Mishkan um, to sort of be the channelers, the communicators between the Israelites and God. And the Kohanim need special garments. And one of those things is the priestly breastplate. It features 12 precious stones. And why do you think there are 12 of them? Can you guess why? What else are there 12 of? If you guessed 12 tribes of Israel, you are correct. So each stone is special and unique and each tribe is special and unique. And so there's one special stone for each special tribe. Um, and they say that the Choshen, the breastplate, would help the Kohanim, the priests, communicate with God if they needed advice um, or guidance, um, that the Choshen would help them to do that. So it was a pretty magical object. We are going to be painting stones, 12 stones, one for each of the special stones that you find in the Choshen. And um, in this Torah portion, it says that they engraved each of the tribe's names in Hebrew on each of the stones that then got set into the breastplate. And so we're going to be writing each of the 12 tribes' names on our stones as well and painting them the colors of the stones that are listed in the Torah portion. So in the Torah portion, it says, here we are in Exodus 28, verse 15. You shall make a breast piece of decision worked into a design. Make it in the style of the ephod, make it of gold, of blue, purple, crimson yarns, and of fine twisted linen. It shall be square and doubled, a span in length and a span in width. Set in it mounted stones in four rows of stones. The first row shall be a row of carnelian, chrysolite, and emerald. The second row, a turquoise, sapphire, and an amethyst. The third row, a jacinth, an agate, and a crystal. And the fourth row, a barrel, a lapis lazuli, and a jasper. They shall be framed with gold in their mountings. The stones shall correspond in number to the names of the sons of Israel, 12 corresponding to their names. They shall be engraved like seals, each with its name for the 12 tribes.
cobweb songs destroy the silence that has threatened beauty's violence in my mind. The tears have flowed like velvet thunder, smiles are shattered and torn asunder. I find that I've been everyone, every place, every time but now Okay, Omani and Omano, thank you so much for doing this project with me. I hope you learned something about the 12 tribes and building a sacred sanctuary um, and maybe something about communicating with God. Um, if you have a special sort of personal mishkan in your home where you put special objects, you might consider putting your stones there. If not, I invite you to create a space that is really sacred to you, especially right now since we can't go to synagogue, which is our normal sacred space or our sanctuary, right? But we're kind of like Israelites in the desert right now where we are spread out um, and we don't have a central place to go. Um, so sometimes we just have to create spaces for ourselves. Um, so look around you and see what other really special items, maybe um, beautiful colors, um, maybe they are items that smell really really special like incense or some herbs. Um, maybe there are some really special flavors like of certain fruits that you might want to put um, in your mishkan. Um, maybe they are really special fabrics. Maybe there are fabrics that feel really nice on your skin um, or keep you warm. Um, maybe you would want to put some candles in your mishkan um, because as Jewish people we love to use candles to make time and space holy um, and fire is a very special um, energy force in our world um, maybe there is some water that you could put in a special cup um, in your mishkan so many things to think about so thanks everyone i'll see you next time bye